is Wendy at Chickawoof Ranch and this is something new that we're implementing into our goat routine. Um, this is Replimin Gel Plus. This is something that was recommended to me by a goat mentor breeder and she has been using this and administering it to her goats once a week. It is a supplement that uh, has just uh, tons of minerals in it. Magnesium, potassium, copper's the important one, um, selenium, zinc, vitamins A, D, E, and so on. And the reason why she started using this was to help cut down on the parasite load, on the worm load. And so her goats love it and ask for it now. And we've just started doing this and our non-picky goats seem to be the ones that do love it. Um, the others are a little bit reluctant, but uh, it's pretty easy. You have to buy the gun separate from the tube and uh, there's a, a cc dose here. There's five cc's or 10 cc's. And so you put your setting. Um, for goats, it's recommended five cc's. The label does say not more than once a week. And that's what our plan is, is uh, once a week, just kind of set it on a day and use this in our goat routine because we really hate using the chemical wormers. We'd like to get away from it, but we do know it's necessary because we have lost goats to worm load. But uh, if we can keep their guts, their ruminant healthy, and you know, no goat is gonna be 100% worm free. And according to the vet, um, a few worms, you know, is, is healthy, um, keep their immunities up, but uh, worm overload obviously is not good. Um, then you're gonna have, you know, anemic and worse case death, which we have experienced this last year. One of the things I, I like about this idea versus the copper bolus, we tried that in the past, but weren't as successful. And part of it was the administration. Uh, first of all, it's pretty hard um, to administer the copper bolus by yourself. And we tried different methods as far as opening the capsule to see if they would just eat it. Um, <clears throat> I do know with that, you have to be careful too, as far as getting it down far enough in the right position. Um, and so with this, uh, it, it's a little bit of a stretch sometimes, you know, me being shorter, but for the most part, it's dialed in and it's just one click, it's a paste. And if I have to, I can get them in a, you know, headlock and just give it a squirt. So it, it, it's pretty easy and easy to do on your own. Hope this helps. And uh, if you're looking for solutions, read about it and see if you think it's a fit for you. So thanks for watching Chickawoof Ranch and we'll catch you on the next one.